Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're cooking up such a fantastic soup. It's unbelievably tasty, and this is how you make it. You know, I just got a package of stewing lamb from the store, you know, already chopped up. And you don't have to use lamb. You can use chicken. You know how they got those pack packages of uh, stew beef. You know, so use chicken or beef if you like. But I'm using lamb, and I'm also going to add some fish later. But the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to season up our meat. So I got a little bit of a seasoning here. I got some paprika, and I got some cumin. I got a little bit of turmeric. Throw all that in there. I'm going to season up the meat with some salt, which is a lot of salt. And I'll probably add a little bit of salt later because we're going to have some uh, tomato in this dish too. So it's going to need uh, quite a little bit of seasoning. But we'll go ahead and get this uh, meat seasoned it up and put it off to the side. And then while this is sitting in its seasoning, we'll go ahead and chop up the uh, onions and the garlic. And we're just going to put a little bit of uh, sweet potato in this dish as well. So we got our pot heated up on medium high heat. And I'm going to go ahead and throw our seasoned lamb in here. And I don't have any oil or anything in here. Let these uh, flavors seal up a little bit. Try to brown it up on all sides. Now we got it seared a little bit on each side. I'm going to go ahead and throw this back into the, uh, the skillet here. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil in here so we can saute up our onions and garlic. Alrighty, we'll run this around here. You know, we got a little bit of meat flavor in the pan. Boom, I got some garlic chopped up here, and I got a whole lot of garlic. Use as much as you like. Alrighty, I got a couple of onions chopped up here. Lots and lots of onions. Onions. Can't have too many onions in a stew. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of hot pepper. These are just some uh, green peppers, uh, green Thai chilies. Uh, but you can use jalapeno. You can use whatever kind of heat you want. Or no heat at all. So we'll stir these around. Let it saute up for a few minutes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, toss a little bit more turmeric in there. And I'm going to put a little bit more salt, too. And we'll go ahead and let it let it cook away for a couple more minutes. Alrighty, so we got our onions and peppers and garlic cooking here for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add the meat back into the mix. And all that juice. I got a can of crushed tomato. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that in here. And I like using crushed tomato for this recipe more than tomato sauce. And we're going to be adding some water to this as well. In fact, I'm going to take my can with my residual tomato in there and I'll fill it up with a little bit of water and we'll toss that in there. And turn it up to high and we'll get this simmering away. Now while this is coming up, we're going to go ahead and take a bowl, boom, and I'm going to put a little bit of hot water in here, maybe about half a cup of hot water. And for our peanutty con component, I'm just going to throw some natural peanut butter in there. Now you can use chunky or you can use smooth, it doesn't matter. But we'll go ahead and uh, throw our peanut butter in this water. We'll stir it up and then we'll make it kind of nice and creamy. So we got our peanut butter smoothed out. You know, it turned into a nice peanutty liquid. And there's some chunks of peanut in there because I'm using chunky peanut butter. But that's okay. Then we'll add this to our bubbling stew. Stir it in there. While this is heating up again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop up a sweet potato. A lot of times I like to cut it in half. And then I'll cut one half smaller than the other half. Because it's going to stew for a while and some of this stuff might cook down but I want some bigger pieces that won't cook down. So I'll have some nice chunks of potato in there. We'll add all our potato into the stew. Stir it up. I'm going to go ahead and add some water in here right now. And I might add a little bit later too. I'll see how it looks once I put the fish in. So it's been about a half hour. We've had it simmering away. 
it's reduced a little bit even though I've had it covered starting to thicken up a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of water in here Put about a cup and a half in there and you could just add water as you'd like you know to get it to the consistency that you want it but we're gonna let it cook for another 20 minutes uh, once we put this fish in here so I'm gonna go ahead and raise the temperature up and bring it back up to a simmer Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a pound of fish in here. This is a mix of uh, Dover sole and a little tilapia, but you can use whatever kind of fish you want. And I got it cut up in some nice chunks because it's going to cook down a little bit and I don't want it to totally disintegrate. Cut it up into some nice pieces. So we've heated that little bit of water that we added in here and we still got it up on medium high heat. But I'm going to go ahead and throw my fish in here. And this is one of the last things we want to put in. We don't want to do it at the beginning of the dish because if this cooked in here for 45 minutes or an hour or whatever, however long you want to put it on there, your fish will disintegrate. Now it's starting to bubble up again a little bit. So I go ahead and I got it down on a medium low and I'm going to go ahead and cover it up, let it cook away for another 10 or 15 minutes. See if we need to add any more seasonings. Don't burn your tongue. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more salt. And we'll throw in a little bit of black pepper too. Stir it up. And we'll cover it up and let it simmer away for a little bit longer. I think it's been cooking long enough. You see it's still got some nice big chunks of uh, fish and meat in there and potato, but that potato should be cooked well through now. But it hasn't cooked long enough that my fish has started falling all apart. I'm going to go ahead and turn this heat off and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the dish by throwing some uh, chopped up parsley in there. Because it looks too sad and brown by itself, so having that little bit of green in there is going to make it look a whole heck of a lot more appetizing. And you could serve this just like this here as a soup or you can go ahead and serve it over rice. That's it. Easy peasy peanut soup, peanut stew, something like that. You know, I use lamb, but you can use beef or chicken. Uh, CG has made this before with just fish. Yeah, I bet you'd work as a vegetarian soup too, maybe with just cauliflower. But if you want to print this recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. Subscribe to this channel. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the future.